You guys have started out hot. What's working right now? I mean, we've pitched the ball at a really high level. I think that's where it starts. I think every start we've got has been really good. We play pretty good defense overall. Uh, but pitching has just been elite so far, and I think that's given our offense a chance that we've done some good things offensively, but maybe not as consistent as I want to be yet. But uh, but that's normal this time of year, and I think when you throw the ball the way we've thrown the ball the first five games, it lets your offense kind of find the rhythm a little bit and get moving. So, man, we're 5-0 and to start. That's really the only thing that matters, and we'll keep growing and keep getting better. And um, the pitching staff has totaled three shutouts so far and has an ERA of below one. What can you say about that group? Yeah, they just they, they work really hard, man. JJ JJ does a great job with those guys getting them ready, him and his crew down there. Um, but man, I think more than anything, they've just pounded the strike zone and attacked people. You know, they haven't gotten cute and tried to trick people. It's just been a lot of attacking, and they hit, there's good stuff down there. I mean. We ran out of a guy that hadn't thrown in the first four games, throwing 102 last night. You know, so there's some stuff in there, and then when you combine that with their mentality and the way they attack, it, it leads to good things. It, it puts the hitters on their heels more than more than them trying to get cute and pitch around people. So they've attacked, they've mixed pitches, um, they've limited freebies, and I think that's the recipe to be pretty successful on the mound. And um, this offense has really been clicking, so it's working at the plate. Yeah, you know, it's funny. We're scoring some runs. I still don't. I, I still think there's there's a lot of work to be done on the offensive side. I still think we're in between a little bit more than I would like us to be. Um, but what we have done is when we have hit, we've really strung them together, and that's what's allowed us to hang some crooked numbers up there. You know, I thought I really didn't like our bats the first three innings yesterday as a whole, um, but then in the fourth, we strung about seven good ones together and ends up with a seven spot. So that's the beauty of it is when we've got it moving right, we we kind of strung those together and cashed in. Um, I would just like us to see us be a little more consistent there you know we we talk all the time about not being in between pitches and I felt like we were in between pitches which is normal this time of year you're you're used to seeing our guys every day you know what they throw when they like to throw it and you come into a new season and and there's not a whole lot of information on these arms so it takes some time to do that and I thought we've been in between a little bit um, but fortunately it seems like We've had TJ up in the situations we need him to do something good, and he's been really good for us. So, you know, that's covered up some of the deficiencies there. But um, we'll keep growing, keep getting better, and hopefully run out and have a good weekend. And you have another weekend at home. So what is the fan support meant to this team so far? It's been awesome. I mean, even even yesterday, you know, I knew we had a huge basketball game here last night. Um, and I know, you know, that that was a packed out game and all that. So I didn't know what that was going to look like in the student section, if they were all going to be lined up for the basketball game or what, which I would have completely understood. And, Man, we still had a great crowd out there, you know, had a good crowd kind of supporting the guys. And, and I think that just matters. I mean, we want, I want a team, and I've kind of been vocal about that. I want a team that this community, that this school, that the alumni can really be proud of. And when they come and back those kids up, I, I think it just validates what we're trying to do. And, and we're going to need them because this thing's going to get crazier and crazier. And as, as the season gets kind of rolling, it can get long at times. And, man, the, the pick, pick me up from those guys out in right field can really help out. And Valparaiso comes to town this weekend. What kind of challenge do they present? Yeah, I mean, they, you know, they split with Alabama State this weekend. Um, they, they turned in two really good starts on, on Saturday. They played a doubleheader, and I think one guy punched nine, one guy punched 11, um, limited their – <clears throat> limited their freebies and you know I think like anybody this time of year it's just who plays the cleaner brand of baseball I mean honestly we did some good things about Manhattan but I think overall we just played a little cleaner baseball same thing the last two days you know we're, there's been a couple errors thrown on their side that we've capitalized on but we've been a little bit cleaner and I think that's the biggest key this time of year is the team that plays clean usually wins and I think we like to talk about all the crazy stuff in baseball but who throws the most strikes, who makes the routine plays, and who gets a timely hit. That's generally who wins at the end of the day. So, um, like I said, regardless if it's Valpo or who it is, we just got to keep getting better. And I want to just see us take that next step as a unit tomorrow. And um, what do you want to see out of your team this weekend? Yeah, I think I think just to continue to grow. You know, I, I said that early on is I don't expect this team to be the same team in in May and June as they are in February. If if we are, then we haven't done our job at a at a very good level. And obviously, you're down a guy like Riley Quick. You know, with Riley having season-ending surgery, so it's just an opportunity for the next guy to kind of step up. And I don't think you replace Riley in any way, shape, or form, but. But we're going to have somebody step up and, and try to try to fill his shoes a little bit right there. So um, I just want to see us continue to clean up the little things, a little bit more consistent with our at bats. I, I think we're having, you know, half of our at bats. I feel like we're turning in good ones. The other half, we're kind of throwing some away. And I want to see us continue to minimize that and just make it miserable to try to get through our lineup for nine innings. Um, and then we just got to continue to defend and pitch the ball well. When we do that, you give yourself a chance against anybody.